Survivor with Jay, Jack, and Colleen. My name is Jay. My name is Colleen. And I'm Silk. Silk? Silk? Silk. Wendell is smooth as silk. Oh. Eh, all right. That's not the uh, one I predicted. What did I predict he was going to say? It was better I was than that. Say, I was going to say, uh, I'm a big boy too. Nope. Nah. That wasn't what nah. I predicted. I'm sorry. Wendell is silk. He's I mean, so he smooth. is. He's awesome. And again, Jay wins the tally game. Yeah. Greatest all time, G O G O A T goat. Oh, you're yeah. you're a goat, all right. But I don't know if you're greatest of all time, goat. Um, I mean, nobody brought me to the end uh, to win. Uh, yeah, look at this. I won. The we should we should have had you build fire. Uh, let's see. Last year, Colleen won. Good for you, Colleen. I know. I'm great. I'm uh, I'm actually the greatest of all time. Colleen, you won the year before, so you were back to back, thirty four to thirty five. <laughs> Uh, I won season 33 by picking the winner day one. So it's the second time I picked the winner day one. Who was the winner of 33? Was that uh, Adam? That was Adam. I picked Adam. Uh, I enjoy losing. I'm from San Diego. Co wrong. Uh, Colleen won that one with the Michelle pick. So I am the greatest of all time for real. Uh, I think Michelle should disqualify you. There was one year we thought Jack would win it, but he lost it last year. Yeah, just what are you gonna do? Uh, but yeah, I, I think I have the record for having someone in the final three, though. Yeah, but I have two winners picks. Colleen has three two wins, win, two winner picks, and three wins. How many winners picks have you had? Actually, no, wait, start? Jack, you won last. How did you not win last season? You got Ben was the winner. He wagered ten points, didn't he? Yeah. And lost all, all those points. Didn't you guys have the preseason wager? Or that was two years ago. That was that was no, that was the that was Millennial Gen X. Yeah, I think Colleen had the better final finale run. But anyway, all I know is Brad Culpepper was robbed, and <laughs> I still stand by that. But I am the winner this season. Yeah, uh, we're burying the lead. There was a freaking tie for the tie, first time ever. <laughs> a tie that actually let Wendell win. And I'm surprised it was a tie because I thought Dom killed it. Because Wendell didn't, from what we saw, he did not have a good yeah, final for my opinion, I And I love <laughs> Wendell. I, I have a man crush on him. I, I thought I thought he played the better just game. just have a crush on him. Um, that's true. I just, it's a straight up crush. You're right. It's just a straight up crush. Um, like you look so dejected sitting there. And I, then, yeah. Cause I was just like, I thought, I, I thought he like, blew it. I, I thought like, he blew so it. I'm so sorry. Like, you know, that, you know, they don't always have good game, a good final tribals, but he still played a good game. I mean, it wasn't as bad as when Anna Kate went home early, <laughs> but yeah, it was up there. That was there. a tragic was, day in this. He family. still won. So it wasn't as tragic, but like during that, that, that final tribal performance, I was like, I thought Wendell blew it. He was being too quiet. I thought Dom did a fantastic. He had a fantastic jury. And Laurel tribal. had a great, had a good outing too. I thought she because so. she explained she, herself she did well. She did everything she could. Yeah, but so this is essentially what happened when Jeff was like, "Let me go read the votes," and we both, Jay and I, both kind of sat up because we were pretty much thought that it was going to be Dom. Yeah, and Jay was like, "We were like, what?" And then. I, I didn't I like, you said, I like, said straight up, I was like, oh my God, it's a tie. Like, yeah, I, I, I flipped I said, out. Because Cindy goes, they're going to read the votes. I go, it's got to be a tie. Yeah. Uh, no, I flipped out. Like, I was jumping. I was like, it's a tie. It's a tie. Oh my God, it's a tie. Sorry, Jay just had to lower my audio because I was very excited at this because it was a tie. And I was like, oh my God. And then once, you know, I was like, oh, God, Laurel's going to break the tie. And then I was like, this is the perfect ending to this season that broke no curses because it <laughs> ended with him <laughs> not breaking the curse by picking the urn. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I, oh, man. Well, he, he, I was saying when he was talking about going head to head with Wendell the Fire, I go, that's stupid. You're going to be the final three. He should have done it. Uh, Jack, are you talking directly into the mic? Because it sounds like you're going in and out of the mic. <laughs> any cl any closer, I'd be behind it. Um, 
I like, literally, my mouth is on the mic. <laughs> mm, doesn't sound like it. I'm, I'm worn tapping the mic. Uh, so, uh, yeah, Wendell pulls out the win. So is it his move to give Laurel the immunity necklace, uh, and she wasn't going to be voted out, but still, like, is that the million-dollar win move of, of the season? Didn't hurt. Um, I don't know. I uh, think that Laura would have voted for him regardless. They seem to they have the stronger a stronger relationship. They did seem to have the stronger connection uh, throughout the season. But uh, I was just surprised the jury went 50-50 just because, at least from my perspective, and Jack, I don't know what you thought, but I thought everybody kind of was leaning Dom except for uh, resting stone-faced uh, sea bass. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh, my God. <laughs> you, you hurt my feeling. His eyes were half open I, the whole I thing. I actually wrote down during that portion, I was like, is – Seabass even awake? <laughs> He's like half awake. He's like learned how to sleep, sleep awake. Sleep tribal. I don't understand why he was so upset. Yeah, it was. But he was basically saying it was all Tom's plan. And and, then, and, Dom, and Dom said it worked. Yeah. And I'm like, going, okay, how can you fault something that absolutely you you blew it? And Donathan backed up everything Dom was saying. So that's why I I don't. I Jack, I love your thought, but I thought I thought it was Dom. He nailed it in the final. And it was it was his to lose, and I just uh, maybe I just read it wrong. But what was your thoughts? I was shocked that uh, that Donathan voted for Do- for a Wendell. I was shocked too because it seemed Donathan was more pro Don. This is why I um, kind of wonder if that was planned. Like they planned to do a five five split. And, like, like let's see what happens. It's been a boring happens. season. We gotta have some. <laughs> and that was I was uh, the other funny thing is I I was like in this season which you know was a little non eventful. Um, it really definitely went out with a good good way to go out. Like it, it got exciting in the, in the very eleven fifty nine hour. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kevin Hart showed up for some reason. <laughs> we were also very confused. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's he's hosting a new show called Wipeout. TKO Total Knockout. <laughs> Wipeout yeah. CBS edition. Yes. Um, they didn't even really I, talk I to Wendell it. at the finale. They show did. Either. They showed his. They showed his. Uh, his tryout video, which I missed because I was peeing. Um, it was it was his 2012 video, and uh, and that was it. They didn't really talk to him that much. Uh, well, so they, yeah, they, they learned that the after show is terrible, and they dragged on the, the you know they didn't announce the winner till what 20 after. Yeah, I mean that's I think it was just kind of now as the after the whole. The whole thing is a three-hour event, and the after show isn't really an, a separate show. I think yeah. it's just one total. Which is, which, which is which is smart. I mean, which is fine. I don't care. Um, Jack, I know you're a purist, and you're like, I want Rosie back, but I, it doesn't bother me as much. I heard he was a fan was of Brian when, Gumble. It, it was better when she. It was better when Rosie hosted. We, I've heard you've said that a couple times before. <laughs> Jack said that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's it's not like him to repeat talking points. Well, never. <laughs> They're fact. You gotta, you gotta repeat them. Um, <laughs> but I, I will say, uh, watching the, the finale uh, or the the post show or whatever, I was looking out for our 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 own podcaster in the network, Mike Bloom. Was who I there. texted, but he never responded. Well, he's probably a little busy. Um, <laughs> I figured he was. So, uh, but I never saw Mike Bloom. Jack, I don't know if you ever saw Mike Bloom. In I the looked. I, I didn't see him. No. Um, but uh, I wish him well. He's probably doing the red carpet as we speak. Oh, very um, exciting. I'm, I'm, they're probably doing it live on Rob has a podcast, but we'll uh, do it live. Do it live. Oh, I will. Check. Well, actually, I mean, we're recording this, so if people listen to it. It won't be, but it'll be up on their YouTube page. But uh, you know, our 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 dear podcaster uh, Mike Bloom, who is a prolific podcaster, is uh, interviewing them all right now. So hopefully, he gives Wendell the airtime. Uh, that Jeff Probst didn't in the uh, finale show, but uh, yeah. for it, 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 it's, if it's me, give me the check. I don't care about the airtime. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I, and and to me, I just thought Wendell played the bit. I thought it was more subdued. Like he he really did. He allowed Dom to be the meat shield. Where I really thought he was the brains of the operation uh, in a lot of ways. Like he was I just more I, subtle and more. And what more Wendell? Deft. I Wendell, think yeah. honestly, I think that they were playing like a game of chess the whole time, where somebody would make a move or come up with a move. I and I think that is reflects on the vote. I don't think that we can say Dom or Wendell dominated the season. I think that they truly co-played it. 
So here's my question about the Ben challenge, so the fire-making uh, challenge. Which we've uh, now decided that they're totally just keeping around because they need to. I think he even said it in last season's uh, finale show, post-show. I think he did, he but. Was like, and this, we had it planned, I swear. Uh, we so it's going to be here yeah. from this point on. <laughs> well, at least um, at least everyone knew about it this time. Ooh. Well, uh, did everybody know about it, though? Well, no, the people in the end. I mean, he said before the challenge. Yeah, he did, like, about... That's true. So you knew it was going to happen. It wasn't like last time where you think, okay, I'm, I'm going to win this because I'm taking the two people who can't win. Yeah. Oh, wait. Great. Wait, I got it. Okay, of course he's going to win. So I, the, at this point now, um, is there going to be a greater... Uh, like, you have to know fire. Like you, If I was going, I told Colleen it's not that I'd play the game, but if I was going to play the game... You're, you're damn sh- well sure that I would be practicing my fire making challenge. Well, yeah, the game always adjusts, which is why they always True. have to keep it moving. So at some point, maybe maybe it will take another two or three seasons. But at some point, people will start to just like, you know, they they picked off the final three, the third person when there was a final two. And then the person that final that third place person became whoever was at final four was the one. So. The game, the game always adapts. It always adjusts. Somebody the game always, is afoot. The game is afoot, as Tarzan uh, once said. <laughs> well, uh, I, I'm going to repeat myself again, which I always say. I've always said that you should have be had, work on your fire starting skills because you could be on a try where no one knows how to start a fire. Yeah. Yes. If, if, you, if you can start the fire, nobody wants to eat raw, crappy rice. Oh, no, that's true. I mean, it so was always... It, burning since the world's been turning exactly <laughs> so if you, you want to be st- the person that started the you, fire. You, you want you want to be ryan starting the fire yeah. but no i'm it, seriously though you want to be and plus i like laurel said i blew it i didn't learn how to do the fire i, sh- I should have known that was survivor 101 and it's true especially fact, now I, I, especially now that it, it's a tie final three she didn't have to, to battle it out yeah but then she, what's her it, her resume was i can't make fire take me but my question here is, you know, last <laughs> that, hurt, that hurt. I she wasn't going to win anyway, but I think that hurt her in the eye. If, if, if I'm sitting in the yeah, jury, she wasn't going to win. I <laughs> honestly thought that Don was going to Don Thin was going to vote for Laurel. Really? That's how oh, they were because th- they were close for a while, and he just seemed like on such so much on the outs the with in the background those like, two. We really need to do something to redeem this season. We need a tiebreaker at the thing, so please. Yeah, so they <laughs> sent that same producer that was like Ben, look under the shelter. We'll tell everybody to look at the bird in the distance. But uh, that same producer was sent over to tell Donathan. Hey, we know you need to do a confessional. Walk this way. <laughs> oh, okay, it's right in front of the confessional booth. See um, that guy that threatened Stormy Dan. Daniels found another job as a producer for Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's handyman. <laughs> um, but uh, with uh, it's the second time around with the Ben challenge to, and it gave Wendell the opportunity. Like uh, uh, Dom couldn't just vote out Wendell. Um, do we do we like it the second time round? Um, I will take my vote out of it because I, I've been a Wendell fan. He was my winner's pick from the beginning. You've said yeah, that. Uh, you said that. No, stop <laughs> repeating <laughs> yourself. Uh, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to repeat yourself no, on a podcast. I think it's, Jack, I think it's have, worse how, because I mean, Jay's repeating himself in the braggadocious way. Well, exactly. I was yeah. like, Jack, how, how often have I heard of, have had to hear about the underwater hatch? So you got you got to give me this one. A little <laughs> hey, Wendell's it, his underwater hatch. <laughs> Wendell's my underwater. Hashtag Wendell's my underwater hatch. Yeah, okay, that's a, that's a stretch. But uh, if you wanna, if, Bradley if, Boo. If, if if you if you want to take that as a uh, as the same as the underwater hatch, go ahead because I'm not. Speaking of a, which, we're. Uh, I was also very disappointed on the Westworld podcast. You didn't tell everybody that. Well, because I, I don't think we <laughs> talked about it at that point. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. But it's so. Uh, you know, Mike Bloom, who does the Westworld podcast with us. Uh, and one of his most hated people is Lee Sizemore. It's growing and, on him now. Uh, <laughs> Colleen has a crush on Lee Sizemore. I know. I turned to Jan. I was like, you know, he actually is very attractive. <laughs> and I was have you like, have you have you been have you've got hit in the head lately? Yeah, because uh, uh, they kind of look similar. Bradley Boo. I just and, had a baby. And Lee Sizemore. And I'm just have, like, have you been have you been drinking water out of your pond in the back? <laughs> I mean, I I don't know. I'm I'm okay, worried. Have you looked at your husband? Because he doesn't look anything like. Yeah, we people. actually did have that discussion um, then. Like, I guess <laughs> it was like I don't look anything like. I guess them. you're in this for my personality or something. I don't I don't know. Personality is important because that lasts. You know, when <laughs> looks are gone. <laughs> 
<laughs> my no, face but you are have, already gone. But. No, they both have beautiful eyes, and you have beautiful eyes, too. Nah, don't try and save it. Oh, well, do you fine. think you don't have beautiful eyes? I do, but <laughs> you don't believe it. You're just trying to play to my... Well, you did ego. tell me I have eyes. <laughs> what we know is, is, is a big one. So. It's huge. It's huge. huge. The bigliest. Uh, but yeah, so... I There's a did, moon, the sun, okay. Jay's ego. I'm taking my, my vote out of it because I picked Wendell. Uh, oh, yeah, there was, a, there was a point behind this whole thing. Uh, but how do we feel about the Ben fire-making challenge as an added element to ensure the best players end up at the final Tribal Council? Colleen and then Jack. Colleen, what do you think? I mean... Whatever it's it's exciting to to do that, but the the excitement of the fire challenge was when it it was that like plot device that the you know that it was something that was the hand was being forced instead of the producers or probes being like you have to you know you have to pick somebody that, to make fire against each other. So while I do appreciate, but it's always there. The Ben one was lame, but now that's always <laughs> there. Does okay. it take away the producers trying to force it? Oh, n- no, because I do appreciate that they're trying to think of new ways to change up the game. Because I know there are people out there that are purists that are very much into the game. It was great the first, like, you know, through All-Stars. And, you know, once they introduced idols, it all went to hell. Like, I so those people, good for you. But, like, the game, everything has to evolve at some point. So I do appreciate that they're trying. I think... I I think we've all made no secret of the fact that we all thought that Ghost Island was kind of a lame thing because when they went to Ghost Island, nine out of ten times, nobody did anything at Ghost Island except cry about something. So it was almost <laughs> like, you know, go, it was like Survivor glamour well, I, shots. I made you fire. Can... Nobody thought I could make it. Sure, I had some gasoline and some sticks. But see, and a okay, and at that matches. point, you would think that, 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 okay, that, that that whole thing like about making fire would come back at the end like what happened to when Angela was there why didn't like they why didn't they have all of them make fire like I mean clearly they couldn't predict she'd be in a fire challenge in the final four but you know what I mean like <laughs> I don't know I, again I think now that it's two times and it's I guess gonna happen all the time I like, don't work I, on your fire making skills work on your fire making skills I do think that it's going to take a couple of seasons for the game to adjust, because like I said, everything is like a virus, right? Viruses always figure out how <laughs> to, to adapt to how to the host. The yeah, <laughs> so the game will adapt, um, and then I look forward to seeing what happens after that. I guess. I mean, I fire fire making is exciting, so it was cool that that was the, you know. Oh my God! There's a tie. We have to go to fire, like kind of thing. But when people were just, you, know, you have to think how many people were using that, so it got them out of making a decision anyway. I yeah. I uh, Jack, your thoughts? Uh, you know, I again, I don't like how the producers and how they they kind of take the game out of the players' hands. But in this case, it did. You did have the two best players in the final three, and it did make for an interesting final. You know, finale. Where sometimes you go, okay, this is going to be a slam dunk. This, you know, like oh, uh, you're like, totally to- right. Like Tony versus Wu. It's been a slam dunk for the past. Few, like, I mean, it's been for a while now. It's pretty much been a slam dunk. There hasn't really been right. A but like I said, uh, you know, like, uh, but I think what they, if they're going to keep it, they should change it to a different, not just starting fire. So people aren't okay. I'm going to work on fire. Work on fire. Oh, that's a good oh, idea. It's a standing challenge, or it's a you know, it's it's some kind of thing that. Maybe something they did during the or a puzzle making challenge or yeah. something like something where it's it's you don't want it to be where it's expected. Yeah. Okay, we, we gotta make fire. Gotta make no. You're doing the slide puzzle. I hate the slide puzzle. <laughs> you, you know, because because Dom could have went to the thing thing. I could beat him in fire. I can beat him in fire. I can beat him in fire. And it's a puzzle which yeah. uh, which uh, Wendell's clearly better at, and he could have screwed himself over. Now, if if someone would have taken if if Dom would have taken the chance, then that would have made it that a little more interesting but if they're going to keep it they need to mix it up i don't want to, okay it's going to come down to fire you know and if it, and if someone's there it hasn't worked on fire then they're an idiot they shouldn't be on the show <laughs> i'm serious yeah, i mean this at this at this point you should know and work if because once you get selected you don't go right away you have months i would yeah. be, i'd be working every day on fire and and puzzles, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. And puzzles, yeah. Do that too. They work on puzzles. Well, they uh, hasn't Sandra always said, um, 
or that she does all the puzzle apps on her iPhone to prepare for if she ever went back. Yeah, and so okay, we're. I think I liked it I, again. <laughs> no question that I like the fire making because it kept my winners pick Wendell in the game. Uh, but uh, also, <laughs> you know how I'm super big on the universe. I think that I'm super big on the universe. Okay. Me, the universe. I think the universe. You like is... the universe? That's pretty cool. Yeah, I've said that a couple of times. That's my repeat thing. I hate the universe. <laughs> well, the universe hates you too. So uh, well, I know. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you span us. Yeah. yeah. No, but I feel like if if Wendell hadn't switched to the purple flag, he would have lost. Oh, so oh, you she... think the purple flag switch? No, so I was at I was Angela's gonna... loss because she was like, I don't care. Yeah, I was. This is what I was going to say. I think she, was wasn't she blocking the wind for Wendell? Yeah. So I switching, think I think switching sides, not just purple or orange. I go. Why would you take the side where you don't have someone blocking the wind? Well, Maybe the wind she was too was nervous to even way? notice the wind. It was swirling. What? But it seemed like the wind was swirling. But at least you have a blocker on one side. I don't. Know, I just. I would. I would not have switched, especially when you knew it freaked. Him uh, out. Yeah, it psyched him out. Yeah, well, that was the thing. Like, not even the win to me is it's it psyched him out. And I think that also purple is my favorite color. So, like, on that level, I wouldn't have switched. <laughs> but uh, just the wind, I can understand because of nerves. Like, you might not even be thinking about that. But he... well, I think her build was off, too. Like, I, you, you went to the bit, the medium size wood right away I, off of that. I'm not here to criticize build because I don't well, know I think, how to make I think she was trying to block Ooh. the wind. I think that's what she was doing. Okay, well, uh, okay. That's, that makes sense. I mean, because I, I, I looked at her, what is she doing? I mean, I said, okay, I see what she's trying to do. She's trying to, but she couldn't get enough fire going. Whereas yeah. Silk, Wendell, he just went, all right, I got this. He just kept looking, at, you see him keep looking at Dom? Okay, yeah, his, his, yeah, he's got, he's got nerves of steel, yeah, um, I would want him performing open heart surgery on a pinch if there was no. No, hot he doctor. looked nervous too. What? I will. I he was did. So smooth. He I was surprised. Smooth I was surprised Wendell didn't bring up the fact during the, when the questions. He goes, "Look, I had this idol in my pocket, and there were several times I could have played it, and nobody voted me out, and I didn't play it. That's and, a there good were point. There were times people could, and he, he didn't bring it up. I, that's why I was surprised. I, he did not perform well in the in the final because there were so many things like, why aren't you talking about this? Why are you letting Dom steal the show here? I um, think he was he was taken aback by the criticism he took at first. Maybe I think so too because I think, I think he's he much different. Yes. Um, uh, okay, Which, so we got to talk about Killer. Okay, well, let's let's before we I, the one last thing that ran the fire okay. challenge that I did want to talk about was Dom kind of floating the idea of giving his immunity away and doing the fire challenge. Yes. With Dom. So uh, or with uh, uh, Wendell, and he even mentioned it in the post. Uh, uh, yeah. Thing party. Post show. Um, uh, so is was that his million dollar mistake, or or why? Ch- to me, I was like, why chance it? You have the guaranteed final three. Why risk it? But if he beats Wendell, it's slam dunk. It's slam dunk. So like, it, is that the mistake? To me, I was like, nah. St- Make I don't guarantee think that was final the three, but uh, you know, t- you don't think so. No, no, because he could have lost, and then he would have been in fourth. Yeah, Jack. Now, what do you think? Either way, I will say. Well, he's hindsight, I, to come back I was again. saying. Uh, go ahead. Uh, he's guaranteed to come back again. That's all I was going to finish with. I was saying the whole time, going, no, no, go to final three, go to final three, go to final three. State you're you're good at you're good at you're, you know, at t- stating your case, but. After I go, well, we should have played the fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he, now he, gets he needed to get Wendell out. And like he was saying, he goes, well, I couldn't make me. He was because Wendell kept winning immunity. You know, there was he couldn't take him out at five. He couldn't yeah. take him out he won at four. The final three immunity challenges before the last one, right? Right. Final so there two was, immunity challenges final two before immunity. the last but one. The, even last week he won too, didn't he? Mm-mm. No, the mistake no, was made by, by, one by Laurel. That's why he got so excited. Oh, okay. and, yeah, that's right. He it was Laurel won, because he should have won. Yeah. Yeah, when they didn't try to take Wendell or Dom out at the six, when there were seven or eight people, whatever, that that was a mistake. Yeah. When uh, Laurel won, they should have taken, at least flushed the idols but out. again, that was Wendell's, like, cool, I mean, if you're, you're entitling him Silk, uh, silk. Smooth as Silk, where he didn't make a big deal about it. It was like, ah, Laurel can have it. Where, yeah. you know, he, he bought, not I don't say bought that loyalty, but he did, to though. where she didn't, she didn't want to flip on him because... 
she was loyal to Wendell, and that's yes, because she was going to flip on him before yeah. that, and then she was like, "Well, he did a nice thing to me." Well, she did. She pulled a Colby. She pulled a Woo. She cost herself a chance to win a million dollars. I don't think that Dom made any critical mistakes because at this point, knowing that he couldn't vote Wendell out, like I, there's really that it's it's in the chant, like it's in fate, it's in like the. It's, you know, you just the universe's chances, and that's what the producers wanted, right? That's why it, it went to fire. Where you know all they did was take a gamble at who they were going to pick to go against this person. Plus, he got five votes. He did first tie the first tie ever. Yeah, and, and, and that's, I think we talked about last week. And we did talk about would it last you, week. Would, we talked about. Would you want to be that person? Would you want to be Laurel and have to decide who gets a million dollars? No. Yeah, and it was fortuitous that we did talk about the possibility. Ex- of especially when she did like it, they all seemed to, all three of them seemed to get along. Yeah, I think it, and, it was it was neat that how often, it, especially in, for a while now, that the, th- that the 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 alliance that was like the final three or whatever made it to the final three, um, and then two the two best players in the game made it to the final three. And made it a true yes. like that where it was close. Well, it was, well, you, you could see it happening because you had Seabass, Angela, and uh, Donathan who were just uh, just were playing terrible. Yeah, and especially when like go, keep going to Seabass when he was just upset and he was he he looked hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Do, I'm did like he going, look hurt or did he look dude, like he needed a hit? You had you had you had <laughs> you had two votes. You could have voted anybody else, and you wouldn't have gone home. You you voted no, yourself I, you, you voted yourself off. Well, I mean, it, I, it was kind of the main problem of the season where you had two really good players in Dom and Wendell and some some okay characters, and then you had a bunch of forgettable people. Like even that jury. Oh my god! There was like, oh, time, Libby. I was like, I was like who's Libby? Libby? <laughs> or yeah. or uh, Melisandre. Uh, uh, I only like, remembered her because of her nickname. Uh, yeah, and I was like, well, she didn't really do anything. Like so, there's just Jenna. There, I was like, oh, that's the one that's banging Seabass now on the Instagram hey, can, page. Can we talk about the jury in this final thing? I Helen. I want to go back. I want to go back to the jury where they're all beat up and and look tattered. And when they come to when they come to the final show, wow, they really cleaned up nice. So it's not it's it's you're kind of disappointed when that jury's always they're always looking better. Nah, I mean, it's, it's, I know it's getting worse and worse, but I mean, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like it's like it's like they got it's like they go to makeup before they get to the. I like that tribal camp. They no, do like go it. to I, makeup, I, and that's yeah. fine. I have no problem with that. No, I, I like the old days where they would come, you know, and you go, "Wow, I can't believe that's the same person." Okay. So I, I just you know it's just something. All right, all right. Uh, it, it made it a little more interesting. You, you, Colleen. So we talked about him not, you know, doing the, the fire challenge. Uh, you wanted to bring up Kellen at the tribal. The oh my tribal god, conference. that girl was angry. Well, do we expect anything less from a husband killer? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm glad she played to type. Frankly, she was super cranky the whole time. Like, I just let wanted... him finish. <laughs> yeah, like let him. Can he finish? Can you let him finish? And it was just like, oh my god, can, can I, I think... finish. Larry? Can I finish? Now, I I admit that I'm not super caught up with Ponderosa this season. Um... I'm gonna blame the baby because yeah, I'm just I've I've been, old. <laughs> I, like I haven't been up to par this season. I, I haven't been watching it either. So. You know, I'm not sleeping and all that, but blah blah blah. Um, Kellen, though, my goodness, I, I I haven't watched all the Ponderosas, but I would I, I seriously think if there was a tie, that if there was a mastermind behind it, it had to have been her because she seemed to be like directing everybody like, okay, now you yell at him and you yell at him. And <laughs> what about this? And okay, it's your turn to get yelled at. And like, she just, she was like the mean Oprah. You hurt C. Bass's feelings. <laughs> just look at him. I know he just toked right before this, but just look at him. <laughs> we, we, we needed one more fish analogy from Seabass, though. He really did have just, resting just, stone just, face, that which was, is hard. Great the fi- he would be great in the finals. I was hooking people left and right. I mean, it would have been, been perfect. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just, there was a whole lot of. I don't well, she was, she, she, was, she was angry towards Dom. She was angry towards all of them, but she looked beautiful. I have to give her that. Her, she has lovely color eyes. Well, I she like did eyes. say she did say congratulations for you. Like you like the color of eyes now. I don't want you retconning this. I've always <laughs> liked the color of eyes. I've just because you think I have poop colored eyes doesn't mean 
Don't roll your eyes at me. Okay, now I just see the white of your eyes, and that's creeping me out. Stop What's it. What's wrong with this? Stop I it. You left my Are eyes. you going to flip your eyelids next? Because that's really gross. Stop uh, I it. I can't. Don't do that. I, uh, even the thought of that, I can't Yeah, I that. feel like I can't look at Jay right now. I'm focusing on this Ninja Turtle thing over here in the corner with the big eye. <laughs> the Technodrome? Yes. God, do you even care about what I like in life? No, but I'm looking at an eye that's open that I can uh, see. She would know Bradley Boo's toys. She would know Bradley Boo's toys. What kind of toys? <laughs> See, look, you're already imagining them. Well, you posed the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Uh, Laurel, any chance in this? Laurel. Laurel. Yeah. She had a res- I think she had a respectable yeah. final tribal. Like she spoke- I don't see her coming back, though. Maybe we'll see unless it's like unless they do a season of people that got zero votes in final tribal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like I said, she's. She's a good player, but she, like I said, she, she had several chances. But I, I agreed with her when she was saying, look, you guys wanted me to make moves, big moves, but I would have been on the bottom if I made the move. But she did, ha- at one point, I think, had a chance to I flip. I think seven, and she six. Did. Yeah, and she didn't, she didn't do it. And she, when Wendell you got- lost and she... No, last week. She could have done yeah, it. I think but last she, week was the... She was a softie. And when she was a softie, didn't I say yeah, even like, she, you know, that's that was it. Like, she, she clearly doesn't want to make they the big They split move. the votes, but she didn't even get one vote. So. <laughs> but but what, ki- what kills me is everyone knew that Dom and Wendell had idols, and they never once tried to flush them out. Yeah. That yeah. goes to, that goes to the state of who, who they're playing up against. I say, now, yeah, what, the... Wendell and Dom had great gains, but again, it almost comes that Boston Rob thing. Yeah. It's easy to have a great game when you're playing against people that just are afraid to play the game. Yeah. And I feel like that was what Laura was. Like, yes, she did have some maneuvers, but when she picked loyalty to Wendell, who she knew was right. going to beat her, over her own game, that was it. Yeah. Like, she may have been able to take some of the angry votes, the angry at Dom votes, and gotten a solid second. So maybe she cost herself, what, $50,000 instead of $100,000? But. Well, again, she she gets Dom and Wendell out. Who's the best player left? Yeah, but then she her. doesn't have an. That was her. I think I I see her point in that. That was her I see her, but but at a certain point she, but at a certain point she had Donathan on her side. Well, she had Donathan on her side most of the game. Also, right. Angela voted for Wendell. So if um, if uh, Laurel had gotten Wendell out, who who's to say that maybe she couldn't have pulled Laurel? Uh, Laurel Laurel couldn't have pulled Angela in, yeah. and you know, nobody C-Bass. talked to Angela. <clears throat> yeah, right, that's, exactly. That's, I think yeah, I think you're right. I think that's was her opportunity, and she uh, Laurel. Could you gotta have be made ruthless. Her, her sub alliance that is there for her once she's ready to, to cut the head of the snake. Or the but double. I think she was hoping. Are you that, there to Are you there to win or finish in third? Yep. Yeah. But like, who? Where was somebody that was rallying troops to cut the head of the snake last week? What was? Uh, who was the uh, for Jeremy? Was it Tasha? It was Tasha and Spencer. Where Tasha was basically like, "I'm here for Jeremy." No, 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 no. like Tasha said she made moves, but but in the end, I mean, she. I mean, Wendell and Dom yeah. were the power were the power couple. Jeremy win. They were the power couple, Jeremy and everyone knew they honestly. were the power couple, yeah. and they didn't. They didn't. Even go attempt to go after him, Which, and the whole time yeah. they knew they were the power couple. Yeah, I mean it's just the whole time, and they said the whole time every week. Yeah, we got to. They, if we get to the finals with them, we're going to lose. Really, Brooklyn was the only one that really kind of went after. Yeah, and kudos to Brooklyn but, for bearing the hatchet and you know voting yeah. for Dom, like voting for Dom and then doing the MS walk with him. Which I yeah, was cool. that's kind of like how I always say: whoever beats the Yankees in the playoffs, I hope they win the World Series because then you could say you got beat by the best people. It's easy to say when you have twenty seven. I know. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah, you I, 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 sport, say, I say that all the time. I when every because when everyone beats my team, which is all of them, <laughs> I can't lose. Well, exactly. There you go. But um, anyway, yeah. So Kellen, super cranky. Um, <laughs> what about Teen Angel? You know they're bringing Teen Angel back. He's just oh, yeah. so poised, man. Like I can't. Yeah, like really, he, he was he was he was the best one at the tribe at the the question. He was, he really was. Wasn't angry. Matter of fact, yeah, he voted for you know, Dom, I, right? He voted for Dom. Yep. Yeah, he, he just said and that's why I thought Dom had it because I thought he was leading that voice, and a lot of people were agreeing with Mike. Um, yeah, I, I hope he comes back. I, I thought he played fantastic, and especially like well beyond his years, like incredible. And his family, like if you saw his family, his family was beautiful. Like his. <laughs> Mom and dad and sister, like they just they're cut from a different mold. Yeah, hate them. Anyway, <laughs> what uh, you're saying is he could have been a Goliath. 
He he. Uh, well, I would I I would think so. <laughs> like look at look at his dad. Like his dad had a full head of hair. Like my dad didn't have a full head of hair. Yeah. So. What are you going like, to do? How different would my life have been if my dad had a full head of hair? <laughs> oh, you have great eyes. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, you have great eyes. People look at eyes more than look at hair. <laughs> Jack, do, 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 when, they're, when people are talking to you, you don't have a hat on. You're like, my eyes are here. <laughs> I've, I've had people. Lower them. I, I, it's happened before. I've, have, I, I, I haven't seen people since I like like ice capades. I'd go there and, and people I hadn't seen in like 20 years. First thing they do is I can see them just looking at the top of my head. <laughs> I go, yeah, I lost it. Excuse me, my eyes are here. And Thank they go, you. oh, no, 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 I wasn't looking at that. There was a bug behind you. I was looking so at I used to have really, I used to have, you know, back then I used to have really nice hair, and now it's really shiny scalp, so well, what are you going to do? Well, you're consistent in the shiny. <laughs> you, look, you don't want it shiny. <laughs> um. Anything else uh, from this episode? I, I think that it was the it's the Wendell and Dom show for most of the season because the rest of the players just weren't, weren't really playing up to snuff. I'm happy that it was Wendell and Dom in the end because I think it maybe saved it we- being a total boring season. But I and I thought it was a really exciting end, and I'm really excited that Wendell won because I liked him the best. So, would you have been disappointed if Dom had won? No, because I, I again they both they were running the game, and I think they both had their moments. Like I think Dom's. Dom's move to use the idol, I thought he was maybe a little bit too much showboaty about it, but having the cojones yes. to... But he, the cojones but to he, use he knew, it. He knew, his, he knew his audience. Yeah. He, yeah. He, 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 they, all, they just all well, crumbled. 50% of them. Well, and, and, but he got... He got he, he made the play. Like He didn't have to actually play his idol. He made him safe the next time, and he got Seabass to flip. He convinced him to flip, so I, I give credit to that move. So that's why I didn't mind if he lost, because I thought he made... That move, I thought, C-B- was a C-Bass great resume. Seabass basically move. Eric'd himself. <laughs> so, I mean, he's, he, there's no way you have two votes and you have a plan that you go home. There, there's no, there's no way. Yeah, um, yeah, that's true. Did anybody think that? Because I at one point thought that if Dom was so big about going head to head with him in the fire challenge, that he should have just sent both of the women to make fire and been like, I'm a man. I'm going to go up against him like a man and, you know, come at me, bros. Like the women can duke it out themselves. But that makes probably makes you like chauvinist or sexist or something. Maybe. Well, not say it like that. I just said it in a very. Johnny I want to bring Fair the man play. with me. You women work it out. Make no, like I just said that in a very it. Johnny Fairplay way of saying something. <laughs> um, which, my God, that dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know, just saying like, okay, you guys are clearly three and four. So why don't you, why don't you duke it out to see who's going to get to be three? Which I know is also a less chauvinistic way of saying it. Just as arrogant, though. But yeah, I feel it's. There, there, there's a better way to say it. Like I don't think I don't think there's a good way to say it. Yeah, yeah you two are on the bottom. We brought you along. I mean, it just <laughs> yeah. It's, well, that's when you make it about you make it more it, about like uh, yeah the other. Why person am I why, why am I three and four? Who says I'm three and four? Well, you don't you know you don't say three and four. You just you you say it without saying it. Where you go, oh, right, well, <laughs> this is my this is my bro. This is who, which. Oh, can we talk about how Donathan and Wendell had a, like a bro off going on? Like I don't like, know, bro, bro. bro. I was just like, you know, Michelle Winters at Michelle was the queen of bro. I know because Jay and I do that to each other all the time. We do. <laughs> we did it today. I know. <laughs> bro, I know. Bro, I know. Bra, bra. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you mean bra? But yeah, to me, like I thought Dom played that really well, and I thought he had the better final jury. I, I thought he did a better job there. So I, I wouldn't have minded if Dom between the two. Well, of them, I wouldn't mind. You have to wonder if anyone changed their mind. Before they voted, I or do they already so. have their mind? Or do they have their mind already made up? I really think that like Kellen organized that guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do something so we can be remembered. Yeah, she's gonna be like, so this ghost island. Well, who went there and got something? Oh, promise, none of you. Get, okay, gonna, I would go one hundred percent in, but no one's gonna get Chris to agree Here, on well, it. Well, here's the thing: say say you know that you want to make it a tie, and you kind of organize that before the vote. But look at who's at the final three, and if if Laurel or Yanni is the final <laughs> deciding vote, you'd have to think she goes Wendell with Wendell's big move to save her, 
in the tri- it was the, the, the but tribal But it's all about previous. the excitement. We're always going to remember no, all I of know. them, especially Libby, who's unforgettable. <laughs> We're always going to remember all of them being the jury that sent Here's it the to thing, a tie. Though, like, I, I remember Libby's gameplay more than Michelle's. Exactly. <laughs> what did Libby do? <laughs> exactly. I I remember Michelle's gameplay. I won a million dollars though. Yeah, true. Um, no, but I just it was it was a very exciting ending. That is that is all I will say. It was a very exciting ending. Um, I'm trying to go through. I'm oh, uh, Wendell when he built the pyramid like out of nowhere and he was like Jeff. Yeah, <laughs> but like the first time I he love was this like, first time. Jeff, 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 Probst. Jeff, Jeff Probes, Jeff Probes, pick me! Look, <laughs> don't look at Laurel. <laughs> but he did. Fin- he did do the the pyramid. He, 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 the one scene we see him, he, he's he's got four pieces. The next thing he's go, Jeff. He's, uh, he's so he's so it was smooth. So, it was very he's it was silk. very quick. It's like he looked at the pieces and it clicked automatically. And he just did it so powerful. Like, I, I know a lot of people have made the comparison. That he looks similar to Donald Glover, aka Childish Gambino. He did really look like he looked but a lot was, like the This Is America like Childish too. Gambino. But but uh, but he also was he had the smoothness of Lando Calrissian, who who uh, uh, Donald Glover is playing in the new uh, Solo Star oh, Wars we movie. Have to see that spoiler alert! It's coming out this weekend. It is. It's Isn't also on part to be the lowest. Grossing Star Wars film for opening so far. Really? Mm-hmm. I got a notification. I, t- I, I still t- I still take a cut of it. <laughs> I got a notification about that today. It was like a billion political notifications, and then that. <laughs> <laughs> 2018, y'all. 2018. 2018. Um. So yeah, I think yeah, I think those are the, the big things. Jack, any other points for you on this before we get to listener feedback? Yeah, we got no, a lot I'm, of it. I think so. we covered it all. All right. Well, let's jump into some listener feedback, Colleen. All right. Um, we got something from Kelly. Uh, hi, JJ and C. I just listened to your chat with Johnny Fairplay. It was interesting, but seriously, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, that guy? He's a gross person. That's. I'm sorry, Randy. Um, that's all I need. just needed to get that out. That's what she said. Kelly D. Kelly, he, if you like... a very I think he's just a very honest person. <laughs> no, Kelly, if you'd like to hear my actual response with a lot more than just the token PG thirteen F word, you can go to this week's broadcast, which will be out on Friday. <laughs> yeah, he, he he played uh to type. Let's just say that. If you if you did listen to it or not. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Victoria. Well it's, it's, there's no um uh, there's no drop off. I mean, it just it's you're not having to pull information out of him. <laughs> so as far as that kind of an interview, you know, it's not like one. You're not getting yes or no answers. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Johnny is the sky blue. Twenty minutes later, seventeen different insults. <laughs> Sandra's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Anyway, that aside, um, Victoria says yes. This has to be one of the best f- survivor. F- this has to be one of the best survivor finales. Wendell has to be one of the best strategic players in Survivor. I am so happy with this. Not as season. good as Michelle, because Michelle like slam dunked it, but still. Yes. Oh, also, I just got a text back from Mike just saying that it was incredible. So he's going to talk to you guys more about that in two weeks. Okay. Uh. I uh, can't wait to hear the podcast. Uh, then she follows up with, okay, so I had to write back because I was so happy that I actually forgot to add some context, uh, some content. I was so I was surprised that people on Twitter were dragging Laurel for not picking Dom when all he did was pick her because he didn't believe that she could beat Wendell in fire making. Uh, she was always just a pawn to him, no connections. I appreciate Wendell for having a strong social game. He formed relationships with the right people, not bossing them around and not being arrogant. Um, those, which is kind of funny because they both talked about how they both weren't arrogant, except Dom admitted at the very end he kind of got a little more arrogant. Uh, those who voted for Dom were people who voted early uh, for who were voted early for playing too aggressively, cough, cough, Des and Chris. Mm -hmm. I also agree with Laurel stating that uh, she did what moves were best for her game. No one on that jury would have taken her to the finale, to the finals. I went to bed early because I was tired of hearing Michael talk, eye roll. Oh, boo, Victoria. 
Uh, and hearing about reversing the curse. Yes, Victoria. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm off to burn everything orange uh, and buy some purple stuff. Welcome to my world. <laughs> everything I own is purple. Uh, I wish I would have heard more from Seabass. Really? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you pick you. <laughs> my feelings are hurt. <laughs> There you go. There's more for him. From <laughs> and Donathan about Wait, what? yeah what? Oh, <laughs> uh, 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 Donathan about why they voted for Wendell. I uh, see you guys next season. Yeah, for my chunky Donald Glover. Is there anything this man can't do? Well, you know, Don- I think Donathan. Looks, Don- yeah. Don- you know, Donathan kept saying how honest he was. I'm I'm honest. I don't lie. I don't tell the truth. He told Wendell flat out, "I'm voting for Dom." He told Dom flat out, "I'd vote for you." Who did he vote for? Wendell. Yeah. That's right. So <laughs> calling you out there, Donathan. That's very true. That that is very true. Um I I got I do I still kinda wonder if I I mean, whatever. It was a tie, so clearly they both played really good games. Uh it should have come down to fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh so is it me or does – this is also Victoria Part 3, last one I promise. So is it me or does anyone else think that the next theme is just stupid and somewhat stereotypical? I love Survivor – David versus Goliath. David versus Goliath. Goliath. I know Survivor likes to do this, Geeks versus Jocks, but I'm not ready to hear people say how great they are and hear great victories uh, the next – it's well, not it, quite should, it should be it should be it should be a David that wins because the Goliaths it sounds like their egos are out of control. Right. Yeah. If the Goliaths win, then this whole theme is just lame. <laughs> I'm still gonna watch it, but darn it, Survivor! Uh, I'm immediately drawn to Christian and turned off by the Goliaths. Meh. Side note: so we can't talk to the cast, but we have to hear Kevin Hart. Boo. Yeah, I thought the Kevin Hart thing was lame. Yeah, I I, I love Kevin Hart, but I think we've had enough of him for a while. Yeah, it's a I love Kevin Hart. I just didn't need to see him in the middle of the Survivor finale. And then have like a half-ass Survivor joke. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is inside. I thought you were doing it. Uh. It's like, I don't know. You've only um. clearly been working on the soundstage next to them <laughs> for a little while. I get, he, was, he sold it. He, he played it hard. He yeah, played it yeah. hard. But I was like, eh, That's lame. fine. Um, get, I'd rather talk to Wendell for like two minutes. But yes. I, I get it. CBS has got to, you know, hawk there. They do. Like, yeah, because uh, they're doing so terribly. And Kevin Hart's a big star, but again, Kevin Hart, if you keep just like putting yourself out there on every single thing, it's not going to be as appealing. Yes. Well, it's, it's the old saying, make hay when the sun's shining. So, so yeah. All right, let's so talk The sun's about... been shining for a while, but it's, you know, eventually it's going to get cloudy. Well, I mean, look at Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, come on, do some stand-up, man. It's been too long. Let's, he's still got it. Let's talk about this David versus Goliath. <laughs> you know Goliath. he's still got it. He, has it. he did that uh, Mark Twain acceptance speech, and he like made fun of Bill Cosby. It was hilarious. Check it out. I did, I did not see that. Yeah, it was very good. All right, I will check Google, that out. Google Eddie Murphy, Mark Twain acceptance speech. All right, I'll do that too. Okay, so let's talk about the next season real quick, the theme. I feel like perhaps it's a little politically charged and maybe... Like David versus Goliath? Like, because they are basically talking about, like, the privilege versus the non-privilege. That was the entire monologue about, or, or narration of, about it. Kind of. Yeah, I guess. It was yeah. people who've been handed everything versus people who've had to work their way up. Uh, maybe. I, I, I don't want to say some of it, like, went to Yale... Or whatever, and got a degree, just was handed it. I feel like they you still have to work you, for that. You, degree. Exactly. You still, you still have to. You still have to go to Yale. Yeah, I'm saying, yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't say they were handed it. At, well, that was. The, uh, don't talk to me about it. I'm talking about I that's mean, I the could, narration could they Yale, were setting they, it you up. Know, all they'd be doing is cleaning the bathrooms or something. I mean, I, <laughs> I, I, I didn't feel that way personally. I don't know. It's just as I agree with Victoria that it's we've had the haves versus the have-nots, and we've you know we've had like white collar, blue collar, no collar. It's just what. Kind of more main mainlining that thing. I get it. I, I'm fine. I would have I would have gone for Ghost Island too. <laughs> but, but that's that's just me because you know. Can that's we, maybe why CBS won't hire me. I don't know. Can we admit that James was and and Eric were pretty good sports tonight? They were. I feel bad that they were dragged into it and made part of the show. I, me I, too. That's why they were good sports I, I about it. Uh, they probably got paid. So yeah, I, would I, don't, so. I don't. I mean, if they went, well, maybe they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm giving uh, my ten thousand dollars for this appearance. Uh, yeah, on their Survivor history, maybe Sia. they did, maybe, maybe <laughs> they didn't. But I. How about Sia giving some money to Donathan? Is is Keith now like, come on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Keith. But J- yeah. it, J- 
James is still in good shape, though. James, James is looking good. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn. Yeah, like, is, 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 that, is that your James boo there, Jay? I'll yeah, I'll, I'll trade a James <laughs> boo for a Bradley boo any day. Yeah. I mean, he still ball? looks pretty chiseled. We, yeah, and he was he was, he was always good. one of my he was always one of my favorite players. I still to this day when I wouldn't play, I go, what are you thinking? Uh, anyway. Um, all right, so our next email is from JP. Here are my final thoughts about tonight's episode. Wendell obnoxiously yelling for Jeff after solving the first puzzle was more predictable than every third word out of Fair Play's mouth being an F-bomb. <laughs> uh, wow, with you guys speaking about the NDAs last week, poor Laurel knew the outcome of the game and had to keep it in her for so for as long as she did. Kudos to yeah. Laurel. That's well, right. Yeah, She's that's the true. only one that we didn't even actually talk about, knew. I, I told uh, Cindy, I said, she had to keep this quiet for I don't know how long. Wow. I know. Because if she if she said if she said something, yeah, she, she was I would in trouble. Have been like, okay, give me like an extra ten grand for keeping. Could you ma- could you imagine your mom, Jay, being? No, being, it would be out so fast. It, it it would be on the Coconut Express. She would have it would be on the internet two days two seconds later. We hung out for like three hours today. I got so many effing secrets. She he did, and I tweeted them. Well, all. there, there was one thing. There's one thing she said. I go, why did they? Why did she tell you? Of course, <laughs> of course, the person that told her was. I don't want to oh, say yeah, I, know I knew people, that. I know that. I said, "Well, I wouldn't have told that person." So anyway, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that secret has now been disseminated. You want a secret? I you tell me. Somebody you, listening. If you to want this, a secret? You tell me. Somebody <laughs> listening I, to this podcast right now has probably just put together exactly what we're talking about. <laughs> because it's it's not that I keep a great secret. Most of the time, I just forget what someone's told me. Heard it. That's, 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 that's the truth. I go. I go. Oh, that's right. I knew that. I didn't know that. Again, I, I hung out with my mom for like three hours today, and calling him was like, "Oh, what were you talking about?" I was like, oh, "I don't remember." <laughs> <laughs> but as the night went on, you're like, "Oh yeah," and I found oh, yeah, out this. this. Oh yeah, and get this. Oh yeah, and top secret. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. Though I said, "Why did they tell you?" <laughs> because you were asleep. Because I fell asleep, and this person was texting me. And that happens. My wife picked up the phone. Well, there we go. Okay, uh, finishing JP's email. I still think that Seabass smoked the extra vote. <laughs> 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 it was fairly if, if they, obvious. If they didn't show us that vote, I think that'd be a very good theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, lastly, uh, what <laughs> do you think funny. of this idea for a future season? They should do Survivor Unseen Faces. This season would consist of all the people. Who do those slow motion challenges, uh, challenge demonstrations during the segments when oh, Jeff okay. is explaining the challenge rules? Oh, like, I was oh you think like a all the libbies? Of Michelles, that's what I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> season, Libby, season, Libby. we were talking about the swimmer guy that was swimming, and just I go, so the I, I get it, yeah, I get what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, who, who knows that might be interesting. More interesting than a Michelle season. Well, clearly yeah. they'd be good at challenges Survivor. since they're responsible for setting them up. Uh, Colleen, Jay, and Jack, thanks for a great season and for giving me the pleasure of sitting in on an episode. JP from yes, NJ. JP, big thanks for filling in. Yes. Uh, Mandy says, what a finale. It's so awesome that Survivor hashtag blindsided all the fans with a tie. Uh, I'm sure. Oh, spoiler alert, Mandy. Uh, I'm sure you already covered if Laurel made the right choice. So, if Laurel is offic- is on the jury officially, is this the best final two we've ever seen? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. How do you not say it's the best final two? When they literally well, the, no, tied, the, well, yeah. You've got, you've got the first one came down to one vote. Yeah, but again, like Kelly Wigglesworth, really? She played a good She played a good game. And I hear she likes beef jerky, so... Oh, <laughs> too I'm soon. Just, I'm, I'm just saying. I, that's what I heard. I no, heard but she'd I heard, do I, anything for it. Uh, I, I think that. Uh, I think that was probably to me. I, I hate to go back to old school, but that was probably the best one because you had the best. What she did for rant jerky allegedly from Sue. Ah, oh, yes. Oh yeah, yeah. But still, I think this one was less about that and more about you had the two best players. I guess you could say because she won so many. Immunity challenges, Kelly Wigglesworth, right. but like two people that were playing a like a, t- a total game to outwit, outplay, outlast, and they're playing it. I, this is going to sound wrong. They were playing it with each other. I mean, they were like you said, they were they the were picture, teammates. The picture of him looking at him like I was like, that's adorable. That was adorable. Yeah, um, they were they were teammates, and they yeah. knew that they ha- they knew that they couldn't compete against. They knew each neither one would beat each other, and they really didn't until the third person yeah. was. 
tie-breaking vote. So they they predict they predict the whole game, yeah. but it just circumstances, you know, because you had players that that, that they were lucky players. they had players that didn't lose those idols. But they, they had a Boston Rob season. They even they had a Boston Rob season without a crazy um, Phil Shepard. Phil, Phil Shepard. <laughs> it's just a cast of. Yeah. A bunch of nameless people, and they even had the, Although, the bitter kind of man bun uh, uh, guy. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's very I'm true. On the football player's name, but he was bitter Grant. too. Grant, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Grant. Uh, <laughs> Manny says, biggest, "Okay, biggest wa- biggest complainer of all time has to be Grant, right?" Oh, you're not going to say that it's Bradley Boo for complaining about sand? No, because he didn't really last long enough to worry about. <laughs> but uh, uh, no, but I think I think Grant because he be was that sand. Grant was still upset at the at the finale. That's right, he was. He wouldn't take so, his call. But you I mean, mean sorest loser? I don't even know. If so, no, I, I, no. I think I yeah, didn't think he was mad because he lost. He was mad because he thought his best friend voted him out. That's the game, though. It's a freaking game. It's a giant I, board I, game I, come I to get, life I in real it. life. Well, you know, he was a former Charger player, so you got to accept that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he should have known what losing was a like. Perpetual loser. You're right. Exactly. All right. Uh, thank you for another great season of podcast. I will miss you three on my Thursday morning drive to work. Love you all, Mandy. Oh, thanks, Mandy. Well, call. You know what? You just give us a call, and we'll do like a we'll do like a you know you can connect all the calls. We'll just talk to you on your way to work. <laughs> hmm. I'm usually awake by around then anyway. So. Yeah. You guys sleep either, so. I I don't sleep. I mean, I do. I I do my best to sleep, but. You know, I get woken up twice a night by a baby. Luckily, he's a ten minute and out, so we don't we don't uh, do too much. Um, let's see. Uh, we have one more email from Sean, and I'm going to read some of the highlights here because this is kind of long. Um, That's what she said. <laughs> Someone had to say it. Uh, let's see. Take your time. Those highlights are great. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm trying. I just want to read his. I want to read no, his. Mandy going to work next week. Silence. This is, this is like a Michelle's game play right here. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't really hear anything. All right. Whoa, I'm legitimately shocked. Helen on this podcast. We're gonna st- I'm going to start this from the, fi- the, fi- the tribal council with the fire challenge. Uh uh, Dom's teeth and gums, they look fake. They, I did notice that too. I thought that they looked very, very illuminating. Uh, ha ha ha, got any paint? Whoa, I'm legitimately shocked that he took Laurel. Guess I was wrong about Angela for final three, unless... Oh no, switching the color will be bad karma for Wendell. He could have reversed the orange curse. Nope, the orange curse still lives. I have a bad feeling about this. Ha 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 ha, get it? No? Okay. <laughs> A uh, bit of a breeze as the fires behind Jeff are going horizontal. Yes, Wendell, Tom Brady level of cool, calm, and collected. And Michael, classy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Let's don't insult, insult Wendell like that. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, classy. I, I, I've, se- I've seen Tom Brady throw many a fit. Last year, as a diehard Patriots fan, I saw plenty of them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Michael, classy to the end, but I disagree. Uh, Laurel really doesn't deserve it. Uh, Laurel has a warped sense of her importance here. Good questions from the jury. Michael is the clear leader here. 18 year old runs the jury. See, I thought Kellen was the clear leader. So interesting. Oh, she, she was a clear killer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, go cry, Dom. You were a bully in this game. Own it for Pete's sake. I didn't think he was a bully. Like if, if John, you could give me some examples of how you thought he was a bully. I never really got. Did I, I, I didn't. I didn't. I just think it's just his. He, he's he has, from New York. Yeah, like having a strong personality doesn't mean that you're a bully. Like I never saw him insulting people. Like Wendell got snippier towards the end with Dom with Donathan than than uh, Dom really did. Well, he so. he did kind of he did kind of say if you're not going to, I guess in a way he was, but. But no, he wasn't. He wasn't a bully. He was just well. I guess by ground, today's right? stand, by okay. today's standards, he he was a bully. Today's I standards mean, are very low for what bullying actually is. But but I, I I get that. But I'm just saying it's what people perceive now. Okay, he was just saying matter of fact. But you can't. I don't know. You can't say it's, a, it's how it's played on. It's how it's played on TV too. But I guess Dom because Dom, Dom has a very strong personality. Yes, like I you just, said, very, very, and I just think he's just matter of fact. Right. Right, I, and I don't think that that means that you're a bully. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Wendell played the Says best. Says the one who's a New Yorker that just speaks her mind. Yes, yeah. because I'm not a bully. 
You're not. I do like being in New York and having the horns honk all the time. That's great. <laughs> You're not a boy. Wendell played the best game overall. Just give it to him <laughs> so we can watch him uh, this weekend in solo. Buckle up, baby. Uh, not sure how this one is going to go. Can't see Laurel winning. Oh, Michael, voting for Dom. Sigh. Wow. Chris, mature vote. Uh, oh, old school on the island reveal. Love it. Unless they knew it was a tie. Of yes. They knew it was a tie. Of course they knew yeah. it was a tie. It goes and counts them. Uh, this has to be why they did it on the island. I love Donathan's expression. Which did you when Donathan said, "Oh, it's over now." Like, did, was anybody else like, "Huh, this feels like it's not really over." <laughs> well, I know I, I I agree with Dom when you could see his face when he, they told him that Laurel had the deciding vote. He went, "Oh, yeah." You could tell he knew he he knew he lost. But you know what? If there was a, if really if there was anybody else up there in the final three, it could have gone differently, and that's what makes it yeah. so exciting. Is that yeah. you swap out somebody else being in the final three? Like it really could have been different. Or but or you put like killer Laurel killer has to get rid of one of them at six and seven, so you don't wait that long, and then you're there's no way they're going to be there. Right. I'm just saying for the two of them, like. At any point, they could have swapped out who was in the final three, and the and it could have changed. And that's what's so exciting about it. Yeah. Um, so we should have a tie all the time. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Every time. Yeah. Uh, she voted for Wendell, right? Yes. 30 uh, minutes minus commercials, and we have to waste time with Kevin Hart and a preview. Sigh. This filler is boring. New season. Let's see how it goes. Oh, brother. Yeah, the, it, was, it was a good finale. Until they started, once they announced the winner, they should have just cut it. <laughs> um, oh, brother, this is going to be a disaster. I hate these tribe gimmicks. TKO, isn't that just Wipeout? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it seem, uh, seems like it is, so have a good recording session. Thanks for another amazing podcast season. Talk to you all in the fall. Sean, for the last time, north of Boston. Thank you, Sean. It has been really fun to read your emails in, li- in real time this season. Uh, do we want to tally the votes and then get out of here? No. Let's tally him. It is late. It's very late. And I got I'm a okay kid that's going to wake up votes. in like a half an hour. Jay's, and Jay's pretty pe- you know, if Jay would have lost, would you be this peppy? Nope. I'd no. be as bitter as sea bass <laughs> and half awake as sea bass. But <laughs> I you won. are kind of half awake as sea bass. <laughs> and I only had one point going into this day. Th- your system is flawed. No, because I picked the winner from week two. Yes, but one. it's not a game of picking the winner for week one. There's how strategy is week how after is week. The, like, the, the most strategy weight. should matter. How is I not th- having I, the I, most I, weight? I still, I still think picking the winner should should be important. the most weight. It should be important, but there should be some other factors well, let's involved. let's tie the votes. Maybe somehow I still lost. So, uh, <laughs> Wait, did you do the math? I, I haven't yet. I haven't yet. Okay. So let's, let's, let's go through this now. So... Uh, in my in the order, uh, the, who went first tonight? It was Donna. I, cl- I, no, I clearly had the, I, 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 see as a season. I was I'm like I'm like the right. I'm like a Shh. team San Diego. Shh. Great uh, season. Nobody, can't finish. nobody got nobody had Sea Bass first. Uh, Jack, you and I had Donathan. Colleen had Angela. I didn't uh, have Sea Bass for a second. We all had Sea Bass, which means none of us gets points there. Uh, at uh, fourth. We all, uh, I had Angela, which gives, that me, a gives point. me a point. I had Angela. Hold on. Hold, get, you did not. You had, I'm sorry, you had Seabass there, so you do not get a point. You had Angela, too. I had C. you sure? I, look at it now. You had Don, Angela, Seabass, Dom, Wendell, Laurel. I, I think you wrote that down wrong. No, because you, you changed it all up because Colleen changed hers. I allowed you to go back and change hers. Because, again, I'm, I'm horrible with how I treat this game. Uh, Colleen, you had uh, Donathan at three, so you get no points there. Uh, I had Laurel at four, which was what ended up happening, so I get no, a point. Laurel and no, Laurel is third. Sorry, sorry, Laurel's third. I'm, I'm reading this in reverse order. She is at third. Cheater. Uh, Jack, you had Dom and Nick at third, which gets you no points. And Colleen, you had Wendell at third, which gets you no points. Uh, I had Dom at second. That gets me a point. Uh, <laughs> Jack, you had Wendell at second, which gets you nothing. Well, technically, he was second for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Colleen, you had Laura at second, which gets you nothing. I had Wendell as a winner. That gets me another tally. And everybody else, you get nothing. Because, Jack, you had Laurel. And, Colleen, you had Dom. Again, 
you guys, I think, agreed with my list, but you wanted to change it up to. Give we yourself wanted the to change it for to, points, yeah. Uh, to win. Well, because well, we figured it was gonna be Wendell. Yeah. I had Laurel going in, and Colleen, who'd you have? I had Dom winning. Dom wins. I knew I had to. I knew I had to switch it up just to win because I knew Laurel wasn't gonna win. So I got I got four tallies on my yes, pick here. Yes, you won. So that puts me at five before my fifteen for picking Wendell. Uh, Jack, you had six on the season. Fantastic work. And Colleen, you had three. But my winner's pick... <laughs> three? Oh, the mighty have fallen. Uh, as, uh, but Colleen, if you would have won, you would have possibly... If Dom would have won, you may have had a chance because you had Dom as your second pick. That would have been five points, but he did not win. Uh, I won because Wendell, my first pick, week one, I picked Wendell, 15 points. So I end up having the season with 20 points. So I lost because Wendell won. If Don wins, I win. Uh, no, no, Don won, no. I won. If Don, yeah, you you needed yeah. Laurel to win. That was your second pick to win. Yeah. She was so good during the final trial. She did do a good <laughs> job. So there you go. I am your champion for this season, ladies and gentlemen. Yay. Bow down to the greatness that is me. And, uh, yeah, I think it's a good place to wrap up this show. Uh, give us a call at 385-309-0311. No, that, actually don't, because we won't read it for a really long time. That's true, but still <laughs> call here. us anyway. <laughs> Colleen will talk to you. Uh, call, Ma- call Mandy. <laughs> give Mandy's phone number out. Come yeah, uh, Mandy's looking for something to do on Thursday mornings now. <laughs> who? Uh, give us an email to survivorjjc at gmail.com. Uh, and join our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash J and Jack group. Uh, shout out to our uh, podcaster friend and uh, on the Westworld podcast and a few others as well on this network. But Mike Bloom, hope he's having a fun time interviewing on the red carpet uh, for Survivor. Hope he had a good time. Is, is he a friend? Of course. Okay. All right. Um, and uh, yeah, I want to especially thank our patrons, the people that make this show possible, especially Tack of Tokyo, Eckhart Richter, Molly the Millennial, Ed the Letter Carrier, and Maggie the Magnificent. Thank you so much for your patronage, as well as all of our patrons. You can find a full list thanking every single one, whether they contribute a dollar or more a month. If you can contribute to these podcasts, if you like what we do, the bulk, the majority of what makes it possible, 90% of the funding that goes to all of our podcasts comes from you, the listener. So go to jayandjack.com and click on the Become a Patron link today. If you use Amazon, use the link janejack.com slash Amazon for all of your shopping needs. And if you like what we do, give us a review, janejack.com slash iTunes for those reviews. And if you hate what we do, Jack's personal email is, well, if you message me, I'll give it to you. <laughs> just, send it to, just send it to the last podcast. I'll find it. <laughs> all right. Uh, that will do it. Colleen and Jack, thank you for a fun season as I am the winner. I will be a gracious winner, and thank you for participating. You know, Wendell won a million dollars and wasn't as cocky as you. <laughs> he didn't get as much airtime, but I have my own podcast. <laughs> Wendell, you may do that next time. <laughs> All right, that is it for this time. Hasta luego, and goodbye. Peace out. Bye.